Hello, FlossTube. Welcome back to our channel for another regularly scheduled. Uh, I'm trying to look and see which one we're on. Number 54. We're on number 54. So this is just a regular floss two video. So welcome back. Thank you for joining us. If you're a returning viewer, hello again. If you're a new viewer, welcome. Welcome to the fam. We are all crazy <laughs> here. Uh, <laughs> before we get started, quick uh, little note to just throw out there. If you have not already, but if you're a subscriber to our channel, you have probably already seen this, but Erin has put out her two days of uh, her vlog basically um, doing her advent box opening from the Black Needle Society. So if you haven't checked those out, they are listed below um, in just our regular channel videos. So you can go back and watch those. Uh, she is going to be opening day three with us tonight. So it's super exciting that we get to watch it live, but she's been doing such a great job on these videos. They're so cute. They're, I just, they're so good. I like wake up the first thing I do in the morning, Aaron's video. Yeah, <laughs> and they're short and sweet, and you can watch them very quickly while you're drinking your morning coffee, but it's just, it's a great way to start your day. Listen, it gets you all jazzed up. So uh, please go and watch those if you haven't already. So um, let's start with our best new thing. So uh, going in my circle, Jody, you're first tonight. Ooh. Ooh. Um, so my <laughs> best new thing this week is, so it's my birthday next week on Tuesday, and 29. Yeah me an early birthday present so we talk about um the sips by subscription on our channel a lot i know kristen does it aaron does it and i've been like threatening that i'm gonna do it for the longest time and i'm like i'm gonna do this and i have no freaking clue why i have not done it like i have no idea i just haven't done it so aaron texted me the other day and she's like okay, well, you're not going to do it, so I'm going to get you this for your birthday. And she was thoughtful enough that she gave it to me early so that I could go on and do my quiz and everything so that by my birthday next week, it might act, the box might actually come and be yeah. here by that, by that day. So I don't know if my best new thing is Sips by or if it's Erin, but I'm going to go with both. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> But I'm so excited and I went on there and like did my personalized like quiz and it asks you, you know, what you like and what you don't like. And I used to be very, very into teas. And so it kind of brought back like those days for me because it was asking about like who ours and oolongs and like just different, you know, like cool stuff. I'm so excited. So I can't wait. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. I'm so excited. I've honestly been introduced to so many teas. Through I'm drinking one right now, the Coconut Vanilla Davidson Organic. So yeah. good. Aaron so hooked me up with a bunch of those, and that has been our tea of choice at night. So my husband's not a huge tea drinker, but every night we look forward to our cup of decaf tea. And that has been our favorite so far, because Aaron gave me a bunch of those. Um, mm -hmm just to try them out and they're amazing. And I'm actually drinking one of mine tonight too. So this is the Good Hope Vanilla from Red Tea. Naturally okay. caffeine free and it is delicious, but I got this in my uh, November Sips by box. So you can't go wrong. And it's a great gift. Like you can do a three month subscription for somebody. You can buy the actual tea boxes. Um, so let us know if you want the code, if you want to do that for somebody for a gift, a great Christmas gift or a birthday gift. Um, let us know and we can hook you up with our Sips by uh, codes. But Aaron and I both have one, so we just flip flop back and forth who gives it. Um, and then in return, we get money off of our next boxes as subscription subscribers. So it's really great. So Jody, you're going to love it. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited. I like that we all get different teas too. Like Kristen, your box was totally different than my box was. And I love yeah. that. Yeah. And I left my um I left my options pretty open. I wanted them to just kind of send me whatever they wanted. Um, because I don't really have a tea preference. I used to just be a black tea drinker, but now I'm dabbling in all kinds of stuff. So it's really fun. So yay, Jody. I'm excited. And happy early birthday. Thanks, Sue. Yep, she's 29 again. 29. <laughs> 29. Oh, those were the 29 days. and holding. <laughs> I bought 
spray paint at Lowe's today. This is off topic, but I bought spray paint for a project. Um, and the guy, you know, like I did self checkout. And so it like, you know, red flagged me or whatever. <laughs> the guy comes over and he's like, are you 18? And I was like, I wish I was 18. <laughs> Oh, 20 years ago. All right. Years ago. <laughs> My mom's solid age was always 28. Like, that was the age every birthday we wished her had. And when I turned 28, I just remember her being so sad. Because <laughs> she's like, oh, that's not going to work anyway. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, Jody, you age like a fine wine, honey. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, Erica, what's your best new thing this week? Um, I think my best new thing, it's been my best new thing before, and it's not actually new, but I think it's my husband. Um, I don't think that, I know that, because we celebrated our seventh wedding anniversary this past weekend, Yay. and that was exciting. We've been together for 12 years, we've been married for seven, and he was he's really lovely all the time, and works really hard for our family, and gave me a set of really beautiful bookends for our anniversary Ooh. and they're very lovely and I was very surprised because I never expected bookends they are gorgeous and I'm really happy about them That's a good so you know he's just number one you know just the boss <laughs> just the bees knees just the bees knees the cat's pajamas <laughs> cat's gym jammers <laughs> uh, good job, Sean. <laughs> uh, Erica. What was that? Happy anniversary. Happy Thank you. Thank you. Um, Aaron, what's your best new thing? Um, I have two as always. The first one is that Christmas lights are up all over and I love it. There's one by Kristen's house that I can't believe you haven't seen yet, but it made my daughter and I crap up. It is like Santa is driving, I don't know if those are like mini tractors or four wheelers. I don't know which, what they are, but he's driving it. And then all of the deer have their own tractor. And are all <laughs> we talk I must drive with blinders on. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. You gotta go. So anyways, and then my second one is also tea. Did you guys know that you could get a gallon of tea, iced tea from Chick-fil-A? I did not, not know that. You don't have to get anything else either. You can just get that. And it's only like $6 and we drink iced tea like crazy around here and they have unsweetened. So that's been like the joy of our week. We've been doing that. <laughs> that sounds delightful. It's amazing. And it's Chick-fil-A, so I'm sure it's really good. It's very yummy tea. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, my best new thing is this is my last week of school, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Next week is finals, and then I am off for a solid month before I have to go back to school. So I cannot wait to pretty much do exactly what I do now, except I don't stress about school. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> a lot of stitching, a lot of reading, and just enjoying the holidays, which I'm super excited for. The holidays, of course, are going to be very different this year um, than in years past, but um, it's okay. So we're going to make the most of it. We've already been, our house is decorated. We have been watching Christmas movies. So we have definitely gotten into the Christmas spirit early and it's fine because why not, right? We're, we're not doing anything else. So it's helping pass the time. That's how I feel. I'm like, I can't believe how quick it's already going. I know, I know. And it's just like, it's just, it's joyful to wake up in the morning and Jason has the tree on and it's just, it's very comfy, cozy. I just love how my house looks um, all decorated for the holidays. So it's been great and school is almost over and that is even better. So let's get into stitching, shall we? So Jody, what are you working on? You're working on something over there. I see your little oh, fingers moving. Yeah. All right. So I did put a couple stitches in my moon, not a whole bunch, but I put some in there. I got the grays in there. Ooh. I have like one more lighter gray color that like goes near these and then the rest is white. So 
And then I think the rest of it's going to go kind of quickly. It's just like lines. And then I got to do the bird, which. Awesome. So I did, I didn't do much because I got completely sucked into this other project. Um, but before I talk about that, I do want to talk about last week. I um, told you guys that I kitted up my. Um, I love you more than Keith Morrison loves to lean on things pattern from paper crane <laughs> because I love her and um, and I love her stuff and I didn't have fabric picked out because the colors in it are it's it's a rainbow it's like the NBC symbol so it's a full rainbow um, and then there's pink hearts that go around the whole thing so I was like struggling with um, fabric but I was experimenting with some blood spatter and I decided to do a different method. So I hung the fabric up and I just like went to town with a paintbrush. Um, so I came out with this and oh. I'm not sure like directionally what I want to do with it, but I'm going to stitch that pattern on this for sure. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. So like, do I do it this way or do I do it? No, it's gotta go this way, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and I think I'll do it like, like here so that I get all of this. Yeah. You gotta get that blood drip in there. Yeah. <laughs> so I had a whole yard of this and I was like, oh, I don't know what that's gonna look like when I cut it up. I feel like it was very linear. Um, but I cut it up and here we are. So this is what I'll do. So I'll put some stitches in this when I am um, done with my other whip that I'm working on that I can not take my sticky hands off of. <laughs> so, um, this is a tiny modernist pattern. I have no clue how I came across it. I think I was just perusing Tiny Modernist on Cyber Monday because we were all talking about sales and deals that were going on. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I'm going to check out Wild Violet and I'm going to check out um, Tiny Modernist. And I was just like, you know, perusing. And I came across this pattern and I'm like, oh, that would look so good on my bleached fabric. Mm -hmm. Now, if you guys can remember, I have done two projects on this specific <laughs> fabric because I am bound and determined to use it <laughs> and I have cut both of them off so thank god this piece was big enough because this is so fucking killer like I'm so pumped about it I did change the colors from the original pattern <gasps> oh my god you're almost done oh, oh no. <laughs> so good I can't even handle this pattern. and let me tell you like you a good pattern is a pattern that you do and you literally like I will be sitting there and stitching and I look down and I'm like I've done four arms of an octopus like <laughs> it flies by it is extremely enjoyable it's very very easy to follow and now I'm just going back and like filling in the light pink and there's like a couple places to be careful like here I gotta make sure I don't fill in on this side but other than that like I'm just coloring in so and it's so easy and oh my god I love him so much and I have the best um FFO idea so I'm like dying to finish it now yeah so I love it <laughs> So that's what I got. Hopefully next, hopefully this will get done this week and then I can actually work on. I've got my other I'm working on. I have like a lot that I want to pick back up and like get get moving on. So but this this kind of got me. I see why. That's yeah. amazing. It's yeah. Beautiful. It's so okay. good. <laughs> Erica, what are you stitching? Well, I am I have only worked on the Christmas wreath from the Frosted Pumpkin um since we last recorded but i'm almost done with the first part and like i wanted to get it done today but i don't know if that's going to happen all i have left is some of the pink of the house 
You are flying! That Santa is to die for. But I love Rudolph. He's so cute. Oh my god. I'm, su I'm super happy. Yeah, you should be. It's amazing. That's great. So if I finish it, I probably won't finish it tonight, but if I finish it tomorrow, then the next part doesn't release until like the 20th of the month. So I have time to work on other things. Oh, yes. Which is exciting because I have lots and lots of Christmas patterns that I either have started and want to work on or want to start, which is, I'm a crazy person, you know this, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. So. Start all the things. I know. I know. Start all the things. I want to. I want oh, to. It's so good, though. My God, Thanks. it's going to be so cute. So if you are, if you, anyone out there in the internet world, haven't signed up for this club yet, and you're not like swayed by this, look at this little wreath. Okay, look, look at this little wreath. Can you see that? <laughs> Adorable. Like, I could just be done. I love that wreath so much. Um, <laughs> that was fine. How this many is only the first. This? What was that? How many um, releases are there? I think 11, and then the last one is the, I think that's right, and the last one is a pillow finishing tutorial. And they yeah. have already said, like, what size it will be and stuff like that, so. So it's complete next Christmas. Yep, yep. It's a long sale. Yeah. And they're, like, this is in the middle of the wreath, and then the next release is right here below, and then it'll go around. So and the, it's pretty big piece of fabric oh wow oh it's gonna be a big piece for sure if yeah. that's middle i mean and all the stuff has to go on the outside mm -hmm. yeah it's gonna be i think it's a what a is this 18 by 18 maybe I, that's what size pillow it's gonna be i think that's a good size pillow mm -hmm. yeah oh it's gonna be awesome here's hoping i can keep up with it yes <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you're like me, you start all the sows and don't finish any of the sows, except for my finish that I have this week, but we'll get to that. Um, all right, Erica, what did you, or Erin, what did you just stitch this week? So I stitched, I haven't finished, but I also did um, a little bit of the I'll Be Home. I actually ended up, I cheated a little. I didn't want to stitch anything else, so I started this like a day early. That's okay. <laughs> I think that's okay. That's so nice. I love it. This is that Jody fabric, and it's so pretty. And this is the pattern for anybody that doesn't know it. So There's a lot of people online doing it, and it's so fun to see everybody's progress. I love seeing all the different fabric choices. No. So cool. I know Ryan actually asked me what fabric I was stitching on. I was like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I'll figure it out. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's the hashtag snow globe sale if anybody wants to join it. Yes, please do, because I'm stitching it too. So the next thing I'm doing was a, I decided that they probably won't watch my longer videos, so I'm going to show it. But um, Jonathan reminded me that I had promised to do this a, like three months ago. <laughs> for a christmas present so i had to bust it out pretty quickly but it's uh that home sweet home oh you're killing it oh yeah, yeah. Home sweet home oh you're doing luigi there he's a big luigi fan so jonathan i actually started him as mario and jonathan goes can you change it to luigi i'm like i guess so <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. That looks good. Oh, that fabric is like. I remember my finish before, but I had it in like a home frame. And Jonathan was like really brainstorming it. And he was like, what if we put like a hook on the top and made it a key, like a key holder? Ooh. So cute. That's so, adorable. Yeah. Ooh, good idea. I should brainstorm with him more often. Last night we were getting ready for bed and I was like, sit down. We need to discuss this. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, it looks so good. Thank you. I love that blue fabric too. The last one is the Nordic Christmas tree. This is part of my 12 days of stitching. Mm -hmm. Started today. Well, I had started it before. This is also Jody fabric. It's incredible. So that's how far I am right now. Oh, God, that wow. looks so good. 
Oh, yes. It's so pretty on there, right? Gorgeous. It's three deer, so there'll be a snowflake deer, snowflake deer, snowflake. Is that happy nest? Yes. I love them. I love them. I do too. Their Nordics are so good. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're awesome. And they're fast. Like once you start stitching it, it's actually yeah. like a fast pattern. That's awesome. That looks really good. Thank you. That's it for me. All right. I am also doing, of course, the 12 days of Christmas stitching. But prior to starting that, I actually finished my Hello Dear, which I'll show when we get to finishes. And then I had a couple of days before the first. So I pulled out um, a pattern that I hated putting away the first time. And I hate putting it away even more now. But it is the PSL They're Here pattern from the Witchy Stitcher. And as you recall, Jody dyed the fabric for me for this one. She actually took a piece of black 32 count uh, plain fabric that I had bought when I went to three stitches in Texas two years ago. And I stupidly had bought like an entire yard of it. And um, so I gave the piece to Jody and just said, can you just do something with this? So she bleach dyed it for me and it was perfect for this pattern. So here's my progress. Oh my God. Good. Mm -hmm. So he's all done. So now I'm just working other than putting in, it says like PSL right here, but then I'm just filling in all the black and then there's pumpkins and all kinds of stuff. So it's, I love it though. And this fabric is just like perfect. It's perfect. He for is, it. He's so disgusting. He's amazing. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I love his face. He's such a derp. But um, I have a lot of this fabric left, so I'll be anxious to figure out something else to do on here. So, yeah. But that was, um, that one's really fun. And now that I'm into the black on the side, it's just, it's just a lot of just black monochromatic stitching and it's just going really fast. So I'll be anxious to get back to him after the holidays. Um, and so then for my day number one, I actually printed out this little calendar sheet nice. that I'm using to keep track of my 12 days of stitching. And of course, we do two days and then two days and then two days. So it's technically 24 days of stitching. And then you'll see on the 25th, I put whatever I want. <laughs> whatever I want. So and then I also wrote some of the prompts from the Black Needle Society. They're the ones that are doing this. This is the hashtag. It's 12 days of stitching. Um, so if you want to join in, you just use the hashtag and you can join in whenever you'd like. And then they do give you some prompts to kind of help you if you're having difficulty, like picking which patterns to do, um, like a piece called Deck the Halls, Ornament, a Non-Christmas, a Snowman, Oldest Christmas Whip, a piece with a wreath on it. Um, so there's a lot that you can choose from. And you don't have to go with those. I know we talked about this before, but I wanted to show you my calendar sheet. So days one and two. I had put to work on the I'll Be Home Sow, the Snow Globe Sow um, from Wild Violet Cross Stitch. And I got to be honest, um, I've worked on this a lot, <laughs> like a lot. I downloaded a really good audio book and I haven't been studying. I've been avoiding it. So I've been stitching like crazy. And here's where I'm at. <gasps> oh my God. Holy. <laughs> what? You are killing it. <laughs> um, yeah, I put in a that, lot of that like reflection on the top is so good. <sighs> Isn't that so cute? Like, oh, I love it. So I don't have much more. There's like some greens that I need to fill in. The way that I'm doing this too, so I'm not overwhelmed with having to pull all of the floss and stuff for these projects is I'm going through my floss list for all the projects. And if I have them in another Christmas project that I'm working on, I just mark it on a piece of paper so that I just grab it out of that one. So I'm not like kidding up fully each project that I'm working on. I'm just taking from other projects. So with this one, I have a couple colors <laughs> that are in a different, a different project. So I'm trying to do all of the colors that I have already kitted with this one. So I have to go back and like fill in some of these greens. There's like a dark green, but it's going really fast. And so now I'm working on the roof 
So then I just have the roof and the chimney and then some like popcorn-y white stitches, which are a pain in the ass, but it kind of makes it. And then of course the bottom. So, but this goes away tomorrow. And then tomorrow I start the deck the halls piece, which was the Christmas sow from last year from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. So that's what I'll be working on starting tomorrow. But follow us on Instagram because I know that Aaron and I have been posting our 12 days of Christmas and of course our whip Wednesday for the Steel City Stitchers. So you can kind of keep up with our progress throughout the month. But those are my whips. All right. Is Deck the Halls the one where you just have the gingerbread left? Yes. Finish the goddamn ginger. If that gingerbread man is not <laughs> in the next two days, I'm coming over there and I'm finishing. Him. <laughs> I know it was so funny too, because, you know, I've been working on this damn project for a year and I even put it, I put this in my stitch mania for this year too. And I still didn't finish it. Still didn't finish it. Um, but I am bound and determined to finish it in the next two days. I don't have that much left to do, but it was funny. I was watching Katie and Laura on, um, the black needle society on their floss tube. And they said that they were both ordering that fabric that I had used from fabric flare. It's like the snowflake one. So it was, that made me feel good that I had picked that one on my own and people were using it for their project too. So I'm excited to see their progress on it as well. All right, so let's talk finishes. Jody, do you have a finish this week? I don't. I'm trying. I'm feverish. <laughs> I know. Look at her. She's like, <laughs> before the end of the show, you better have that done. <laughs> I'm trying. Erica, did you have a finish this week? No. No. She's just stitching away over there. Mm hmm. Erin, did you have a finish this week? Yes. <laughs> ding, ding. For 12 days of stitching, my first project was to stitch the name of um, my daughter for her stocking. And on my video, I talked about it, but the day before I was supposed to start it, uh, my, my oldest was like, I don't want her to have the same font as me. I was like, really? <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> right? Our sisters yeah. great. Then I was like, okay, was because that font that I used for her sucked and it was huge and it took me forever. So I was like, okay. Wait, <laughs> no problem. So I went with this one, which was way easier. Oh. <laughs> so cute. I That's love it. it. I just have to cut it and put my, you know, um, lace around it. And <laughs> <laughs> if it didn't have lace on it, it wouldn't be an Aaron project. Let's just say that. Right. Tell me where those fonts came from. Did you get like a pack of like, like what were they? Were they Christmas fonts? The big ones were from an Etsy. I don't know that off the top of my head, but um, that one I just found online. It was free and it wasn't even kit. It wasn't, I had to go through and grit it myself. Uh, oh. Yeah, gotcha. Let's go find it. Oh, here we go. Um, it was. Let's see. What's oh, not pulling up? Nikki Pattern is who did the other font. Cute. They're awesome, but they're like uh ten, twenty, thirty, forty by thirty each. Each letter. Oh, that's is so big. <laughs> that's huge. I mean, they're beautiful, but they're huge. Too much. So I was like, sure, I'll change it. <laughs> <laughs> the second board always gets the shaft, right? You don't get you don't get as much. I know this from experience. She's gonna be like, how come mine's so much smaller? A hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Ellie, but I wasn't stitching that again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mommy has other things that she needs to stitch this month. <laughs> and you were screaming a lot today. <laughs> <laughs> this is your punishment. <laughs> um, I had one finish. Uh, it is not FFO, but I do have one finish, and it is incredible. <laughs> Yay! It is the world's largest finish. 
No way. Ah, it's just But um, look at those presents. So I love cute. it. It turned out so nice. This fabric was a perfect choice. Mm -hmm. This is on Jody fabric, of course. Um, it's just, I just think it looks and screams Christmas without, I mean, having to, you don't have to have plain fabric and you don't have to have it be Christmas colored fabric in order to make it pop. I'm very, very happy with how this turned out. It was a great stitch. It really did not take that long. I know she released the parts every two weeks but I had them done in a couple of days. So you had plenty of time to stitch other things. It's a little intimidating when you first get the pattern sent to you from Sally, cause you're like, oh, this is gigantic. Okay, like I'm, I'm never gonna finish this, but it does really go fast. There's a lot of blocks of color, but um, it was just really fun to stitch it. So yay. yay. I'm very excited to see, um, you know, obviously, the made to create style, the stitch along is coming out in January. You can still use Erin and I's codes, which are linked below if you want to purchase that. Um, and then also she is working diligently on getting her Hello Petal and Hello Sunshine trees released that will both come out next year. So a spring. I saw, I saw her post something about asking if they should be sales or if they should just be like full releases. I think that she would lose half the people doing it if they were full releases like they have to be sales they're way too big i it's agree overwhelming if you get that all at once you're like i'm never gonna do this no no 100 and i it's it's fun to get those releases and not know what's coming and yeah. you see them that's the fun thing about a mystery sal so i 100 believe that she should do it as a situation yeah. If you want to see the whole pattern, wait till it's finished and then you can see it and buy it. Cause that's always an option. Yeah, 100%. But yeah. Like, I want to see how it turns out and then I'll buy it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very happy that I stuck with this one and actually finished it on time because I'm not known for starting stitch alongs and finishing stitch alongs, <laughs> i.e., the modern folk embroidery 2020 <laughs> style that petered out in May. So, you know, I'll get to it eventually. So um, before I forget, Erica, you did actually have a finish if you want to show what you made for me. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Yeah. All right. Um, I, Erin, asked me to make a pillow from one of her finishes, which was, which pattern was this? The, uh, it was a Liz Matthews one. Liz Matthews, yeah. thank you. Oh, by Liz Matthews. So good. So <laughs> made this little pillow and it has a zippered closure in the back. Ta -da. Very nice. And um, I think this this pattern was like just the right size for this size pillow, which is really Those cool. These are popping. Oh, cool. I'm really happy with my fabric choice on that one. Hundred percent. Yes. Was that the um, pearl cotton? Yes. So that is what eighteen count linen. Oh, who knows? Who knows? So it's huge. I mean, the X's are like this. They're huge. <laughs> yeah, they're big. They're big. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's like the perfect yeah. size for that pillow. So is that just a twelve by sixteen pillow form? Yeah. Well, that's nice. Mhm. Mm they worked out very well. Uh, it's gonna go in a very deserving spot. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say where it's going, but it's going somewhere good. Yay! Yay. That's gonna be a wonderful gift. That's mm -hmm. exciting. Um, okay, so let's talk about. Well, before we get to haul, let's have Erin do her piece because <laughs> I can't wait any longer. I need to see what this is. We'll get to mm -hmm. haul. Okay, like I just I gotta I'll see. This. Save the rest of my haul for later then. Yes. Okay, cool. All right. Day three. It's really thick, you guys. <laughs> I hope it's fabric. Ooh. I don't think it's fabric. Ooh. Oh, it's like a new book. It says, Every day keeps the crazy away. Stitching diary. Cute. How cute. Oh, that's so cute. That's adorable. For my notes. Mm-hmm. That's uh, good. With the little. Let's see who made it. 
That's amazing. Yeah, that's so cute. I gotta do my scratch off. The scratch off is so fun. I never <laughs> thought about doing like little notebooks for in our Friendsgiving boxes, but that would have been a good idea. Is a good mm -hmm. idea. Next year. <laughs> Make a note. Keep track of your stitching progress in 2021 with this stitching diary. And who was that from again? I'm sorry. The Black Needle Society. Oh, they actually made those? Mm hmm Oh, wow. Cute. That's really nice. A couple things. Oh, and then my tea for tomorrow is, ooh, these are so yummy. I they think you have this tea, Kristen. Mm hmm It's like a hint of chocolate. Sounds it great. It me taste like a watered-down hot chocolate, and I know that doesn't sound appealing, but it is appealing. Like, it, it is still <laughs> when you drink it. I think when you know you're drinking tea versus hot chocolate, that's yeah. why it tasted. The aftertaste was very pleasant. Yes. It almost tastes like a hot chocolate that you don't make with milk, that you make with water. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it's very delightful. That's what I have in here. Hot chocolate made with water. Courtesy, <laughs> of, a, courtesy of an Aldi packet. Oh! You see that. It's not appealing, but it's appealing. <laughs> This is my Aldi hot chocolate made with water, so it is a <laughs> very nice. Oh, I'm very excited for your little stitch notebook. That's a great like 2021 start the year off making notes. Oh, that's color too, the like marbling on it. It's really yeah, big. that's nice. I definitely need to get better about making notes, and I, you know, like I love my little calendar page. That's going to be great to put in my journal at the end of the year, like to remember, you know, stitch miss or whatever. Um, but I need to get better about taking notes. I have the X Stitch Plus app too, for those of you who are uh, technologically savvy and <laughs> want, a, um, want a digital way to keep track of things. The thing that I like about it is that you can take photos of your projects and you can organize them by finishes. You can put in the designer name, start date linen notes if you have them you know if you give it to somebody and you want to put that in the project stuff um so it's called x stitch plus i don't know if you can get it on android i think you can but um it is it, i think it's like nine bucks a year so super cheap way to keep track of stuff but i like to write things so mm -hmm. having a little stitchy notebook and stuff that's just it's right up my alley my journal for um like I have my journal, I have like filming notes, like fabric orders, and then also like small finishes that I put in there. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to show you my, since we're talking about it, my whip tracking. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that looks like an insane person has made it. Because I assigned, okay, so I assigned my whips different colors. Erica. And then I, made these little uh blocks for each month oh my god that is so cute <laughs> it looks like a crazy person made it but last last year's was i think more like this was last year wow. oh, i love that style yeah and i didn't like that as much so then i decided each month should have its own space We'll see what I do next year, but is that just a bullet journal? Um, yes, it is a bullet style, bullet journal style journal. I don't think it's it. Like this was my, this was me being a crazy person. Like this was me keeping track of stitches. I love it. It's so good. <sighs> yeah, I need to do uh, stuff, but I do love my bullet journal. Like that's where I keep all of my notes for mm -hmm. filming. Yep, same. But I need to be better about keeping track of my whips and stuff. I even saved the cards off the flowers that we planted this year, so I remember which ones to buy next year because I really That's such a good them. idea. I really like them. They're like the little boxwoods that we bought for out in front of the house. So, I mean, you can use a bullet journal for anything. They're so fun and versatile. So, if you like to write, and Erin, my sister just bought a pack of Schitt's Creek pencils. And they have Schitt's Creek, The Office, they have Lizzo ones, um, they have all kinds. So I'm going to have to get us outfitted with some new pencils so that you can write in your little. And like the one says, ooh, David, or like, <laughs> you get murdered first. 
<laughs> They're so funny. I love them. So that uh, was Erin's day three. So she will have a new video out tomorrow. It actually won't post tomorrow. It'll post on Friday for day four. So be sure to tune in to her separate videos as well and leave comments. Make sure you hit the like button. Um, People so are saying the nicest things and I have to tell you it makes my day when I read those. <laughs> People are so nice. We have the nicest subscribers. I don't care what anyone says. We have the best people that watch our channel. So we love you guys. We always get such nice comments. All right, let's talk haul. Uh, Jody, what did you buy this week or what did you receive this week? Um, all right, so Aaron made deliveries and this was on my doorstep. <laughs> and I have to tell you that um, Stella asked me about 85 times how Aria made this bag. And I was like, how do you know Aria made this bag? Mommy bought it on Amazon. <laughs> Mommy bought it on Amazon. <laughs> Amazon made it. She's like, who's it from? And I said, oh, well, Erin dropped it off. So she automatically like associated and she's like, Aria made that? <laughs> some dye which thank you I needed that and then dropped off this little guy was supposed to be in my box I think right yes that was um, the easy plan it's the cutest little thing ever <laughs> and check this out so this is the card that came with it and this lady's dog is on the back of here and then her little paw print is on this card <laughs> I thought that was the cutest thing ever. And then she put the paw. <laughs> like it's legit. Like the dog stepped in ink and then anyways. So mm -hmm. cute. Thank you. And then she got us these little ornaments for a quick little finish. And I'm so excited about it. I thought that, that would be such an easy, like if you have something little and you can stick it to a present or you can stick it on your tree. Wonderful. Love it. So thank you, friend. You're welcome. Um, and I did not buy anything this week other than white fabric to color. Mm-hmm. Right on. And that's where I'm at. All right, Erica, what did you buy this week? Oh, I did buy something, but they're not here yet. They're from Rebel Stitcher. And when they come next week, I'll show you. With AI. I'm so excited. Colleen makes the best needle minders. The best. There's she's posted like eight different ones that I'm new ones that I'm like, girl, I don't have that kind of money to buy all these needle minders. <laughs> well, I got you one. Nay, thank you. <laughs> all right, Erica, what did you buy this week? Well, in addition to the little ornaments that Erin dropped off, she also dropped off some floss that I needed for um, the Frosted Pumpkins Ho 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 pattern because I didn't have all of them in my stash and I needed them. So she picked it up when she was on a Joanne run and that was great. So thank you, Erin. Most helpful. And then Jody gave me a big hunkin piece of black Ada to use. So that was excellent. And I did get a few um, patterns from like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, small business Saturday sales. Um, I got the every season sale from Tiny Modernist because beautiful and I couldn't pass up that deal. So I'm excited to spend the next 10 years working on it. Yes. I'll <laughs> show it to you in 2030. <laughs> See you in 2030. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's enough space. Like saying 2020 clearly was wrong. Like we, we did not call that uh, right. I still have whips that didn't make it to 2020 as finished. No, I did not. So if I say 10 years, maybe things will be like, <laughs> <it'll> be fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I got a couple of patterns from Good Morning Maui. Have you ever looked at that shop? Because it's so cute. Um, the first cross stitch ever was Good Morning Maui. Really? Was? 
very first ever project and it was the little um little horror guys movie guys oh i remember that well they're adorable and i had not had any so i got three the first is um scooby-doo folks <laughs> look at scooby <laughs> he's like the cutest scooby i've ever seen oh my god i love him look at his big nose <laughs> And my um my oldest child is really into mysteries and solving mysteries and we talk about Scooby Doo and Encyclopedia Brown and we watch Busy Town Mysteries which is really cute if your kids don't watch Busy Town Mysteries you need to jump on that um <laughs> and he's always like solving mysteries around the house and he talks to my mother in law and makes her come up with mysteries like on the spot he calls her up and he's like listen are there any mysteries around there. And she's like, um, I heard a sound <laughs> at the basement. And then they have to like do a thing. It's super cute. So I got him that because he really likes Scooby-Doo. I got this Mr. Rogers pattern. <laughs> because I feel like I'm contractually obligated to love Mr. Rogers living mm -hmm. in Pittsburgh, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. right, right a passage. Just Can't like deny my Mr. Rogers love. And finally, this is a new, I'm pretty sure a new release for them. So it wasn't on sale, but it was only like $5. So, you know, um, Spotty the Elf and all the little guys. <laughs> Mr. Norwal. <laughs> I know. And Did you guys watch that on Netflix? They have that um, movies that made us and they're, they did a Christmas one and they did Elf. My neighbor just told me about that tonight, like right before we were filming. And I was like, oh. Um, yeah, it says, it's I want to watch it. I'm excited. It is the best way to spe spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. And it has the little polar bear, the puffin, the walrus, Mr. Narwhal, and a candy cane and buddy. Um, it's actually kind of a big pattern. Like, it's sort of similar in size, I think, to the costume parade and the Christmas parade ones that I'm doing from Trellis and Time. So, I don't know how long it will take me to do, but it's really cute. And I think that. He's going to love all of those. So clearly I'm stitching for one audience right now. <laughs> you realize that that movie was nearly 20 years ago? Because that's what I didn't realize until I started watching that. And I was like, what? And also, yeah. Will Ferrell was like not a big movie star then. They mentioned right. that a lot. It's hard to remember that he wasn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, we were talking about that the other day. That like Will Ferrell in that movie is in his 30s, right? And yeah, <laughs> they're like, "Holy cow!" Like I'm in my thirties. <laughs> no, happened? that doesn't blow my mind. I didn't think about it that way. <laughs> I know. Yep. Yeah, God, but it's, it's a classic. It holds up so Christmas well. Christmas movies. I watch. We watch yeah. every year, every year, multiple times. <laughs> we have our um. We have a copy on DVD that we bought at Big Lots like a million years ago. For some reason, it had like on the cover and on the back, it lets you know that it is English and French. Like, we can watch just in case you want to switch it up. <laughs> but I don't know if it like came from Canada or something because that seems very unusual for you know an elf to be Michigan. What did you buy it in Michigan? Okay, because nope. then I would have said maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah same, same. Nope. Here in here in Pittsburgh, that's crazy. crazy. We've never watched it in French. Maybe we should. Just just because you could probably quote it by now, so then you could start speaking French because now you could just pick up on all the. They the think that's a good way to learn a language. Actually, is they if you read a book that you've read a million times in another language, that it's actually a really good way to pick up that language. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 That makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. Hey. Um, Erin, what did you buy this week? Well, so here are day one and day two, for the record, for those not watching the video of the Black Needle Society. So this was the um, Christmas ornaments, the JBW designs. They're so cute. Super cute. And then this ornament was day two. Can you guys see the needles? Love with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so cute, isn't it? Look at the needles on the top as the star. It's so clever. Have yourself a fluffy Christmas. Ah, so cute. Adorable. Mm -hmm. 
So then I went to Joanne's, like they said, and I bought that ornament. And then I actually, I bought this one too. Oh, very cute. That would be a cute. And then I saw these and I was like, how cute would it be to stitch something really little and put that on a tag, like on a present? Like that's such a cute little thing mm -hmm. that I can do. I don't know if I'll do it this year because I have so much going on right now, but they were on sale. They were there. I was at Joanne's. I was excited. My yeah. daughters were behaving. Oh, and you just buy everything. I got home and I was like, that was the most pleasant shopping experience I have had at least a year and a half. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's, she just that's saying so, something. she's enthralled by people because she's such a COVID baby. So she just mm -hmm. was like people it, and she was quiet and she was good and she was cute when people would like try to say hi to her. It was amazing. That's awesome. And Aria just wanted to like handle all the stuff and help me ring it. It was, um, you guys, it was like the best day. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So the last thing I bought, um, Top Knot Stitcher has these really, really cute needle minder kits that she just released on her site. I took, this is what it looks like on the inside. So you get those buttons and then you get the magnets and you get the glue. And I know I could make that myself, but I just thought that was so cute. And it was on a Black Friday sale. So I was like, I'm just going to get this. It hasn't come in yet, but I've already planned what I want to make. And I already bought this and got it in. So these are from Crazy City Lady Photos on Etsy. They are different scenes of Pittsburgh cute and guess how many i got <laughs> i got four so you are each oh, getting God. one oh thank a you color version and then a black and white version oh, then, yeah that's awesome and i already took the pin off the back so i just have to put the magnets on them awesome Aren't they cute so they're adorable thank you thank you with pittsburgh stickers oh that's adorable sticker too aria already picked this one out for us how adorable i how love it that? yeah just, that. just like here you also get this cool thing that's so that's nice amazing. that's it i'm so excited <laughs> I just have to get the kit in the mail. It said it was mailed. I just haven't gotten it yet. So as soon as I get it, make it, they'll be they'll be yours. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, the only thing that um I also received my ornament. Um, Erin also dropped off some Tupperware that I had given her soup in, and in it she had made the most amazing brownies. Thank you. Mm. They were guys the best homemade brownies I've ever had. I've had a lot of homemade brownies oh. that were not made from like a mix and they're always dry and they never taste that great. I gotta tell you, Aaron's brownies were killer. They did not last long in our house. There's a, there's a Barefoot Contessa's recipe and it's so fun to make it because I feel so fancy because I have to melt real chocolate and like cut the chocolate oh. up. <laughs> Erin, you're a gem, because when I give Tupperware back to Kristen, she's lucky if it's washed. <laughs> <laughs> or if it's, like, I'm missing a lid. Cool. I was always told it's bad luck to return Tupperware empty. So I always put something back in it. <laughs> Every time Jody gives me Tupperware, like, her Tupperware, she's like, if you bring that back to me, I'll kill you. Don't bring it back to me. And I'm like... <laughs> So I have a lot of Jody Tupperware at my house and I'm like, Jay, we can't give it back. She's going to kill me if I bring it back in her house. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> yeah, she's like, don't, don't, don't ever give that back to me. So the brownies though were phenomenal. Holy Moses. Um, we had actually had some ice cream left over from Thanksgiving because we mm. had apple pie delivered to us from our realtor. So of course, Jason bought vanilla ice cream to go with the pie and also bought dark chocolate peanut butter cup because that's my favorite oh, we had that like with a warmed up brownie and then the scoops of ice cream i'm telling you it was a dream fantastic <laughs> it was so good um the only other thing that i bought um oh i did get some stitch stuff or i did get a gift from our friend allison 
So Allison Norris is our color street rep. Um, I have my uh, a set of color streets on tonight. Awesome. Right. Guys, listen, if I can do these, anyone can do these. And so I reached out to Allison and um, we'll link all of her stuff below if you guys are interested in ordering anything from her. But um, I just messaged her and I just said, can you send me like four different packs of nails that are Christmassy colors, metallics, sparkles, nothing like super Christmassy, but just like things I can wear all month long. And she delivered. Okay. So I have this set, which they're like sparkle maroon. So I also got sparkle red. These ones, which are super fun and they don't strike me as Christmas. Like I might wear these for 4th of July, oh. but I love them. Um, these ones, which would be amazing for New Year's Eve. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. if you mix that last one with a blue, that would be amazing on the 4th of July. Oh, yes. Yes. Like do like a solid, do like every other. Yeah. Heck yeah. So I got these ones. And then I also got a sparkle green, which I'm very excited about. These ones that have little snowflakes on them. Super <laughs> cute. And then, guys, look at that Rudolph. Those are adorable. So cute. So I only bought four and she sent me some extras because she's just like that. So Allison, thank you so much. She also sent me a cute little peppermint hand sanitizer. These like hand and they're just like body wipes. You just want to like rub them on your arm, wash them, like wipe your hands off. <laughs> but they're sugar cookie. So they're like little scented wipes. And then she gave me a black eyeliner. So, heck yeah. yeah. And she sent me the cutest little card with a little gnome on it. Oh, so cute. I just what love that. Yeah, she always sends like, she always sends very nice little notes and she definitely hooked me up with this. So um, if if you're in the market to try some color street nails, she also ha sends, of course, like your little, the little book, but they do sell petites. So if you're getting them for kids, which I know, Erin, you got the petite I, She gave me petites and I wasn't planning on trying them, but my daughter was funny about it. So I was like, fine, I'll just put them on my own nails. They're so easy to do and yeah. they look so good. <laughs> like, I can't yeah. stop looking at my nails today. <laughs> And like they do last a while and like I am a chronic hand washer and like I'm always, you know, I'm always washing my hands. These will probably last me like before they start like chipping and getting kind of gross, probably like five or six days. So I really don't think that that's that bad for a set of like I would probably change my nail polish after five or six days anyway. Um, and I'm sure that they last longer if you take better, like if you're not as vigorously scrubbing as I am. Um, but like I have to go to, well, now that I'm not going into lab anymore, I probably won't have to scrub so hard, but we have to scrub in when we go into lab. So like I'm literally scrubbing underneath my fingernails. Um, so if you want to try them out, let us know. They're definitely worth it. And she's just so sweet. So you can help out, uh, help somebody out for the holidays and get her some business. I contacted her yesterday, like I, by email, and she immediately responded. And she already sent me the colors, and she's already sent my package. She sent it out that night. Yeah, I oh. said, "Here, okay, can you send these to me?" And she's like, "Yep." She sent me my PayPal invoice. I paid my invoice. She goes, "Okay, they're in the mail," and I got them like two days later. So, yeah, she's pretty amazing. So very fast shipping if you want to get them before Christmas. Um, all right. Then the other you thing was be in a stocking is what I kept thinking too. Like Ooh. if you stuck them in a, like a girl's stock, how cute would that be? hundred percent. I would want yeah. them in my stocking. Oh, right. not a... <laughs> um, so the only other thing was, so our friend, Matt, NBC stitcher, he and I talk all the time. I love him. He is the best. And he had asked me about what fabric I was going to do on the new autumn. Or, um, yeah, it's the autumn lane stitchery autumn lane stitching um their new autumn town pattern that they just released like like a week or so ago and i hadn't pulled the trigger on actually buying it because i was like i don't know if i'm actually going to stitch this or not like it's kind of big it's a little involved and then he was like what fabric are you going to use and i like i was like okay i'm going to buy it so then i started looking at the pattern 
and the background, the grass, is actually not stitched. So let me show you a picture of the pattern so you know what I'm talking about. So if you haven't seen it, this is the pattern. So all of this green, I can't zoom in on it. All of this green is actually fabric. None of that's stitched. So the sky is stitched, but all of the green around it is not. So you definitely, they call for um, a fabric called Apple Harvest from, it's called Mountain, Mountain something designs. Oh, Mountain Air Fabrics. It's called Apple Harvest. So, of course, dial up Jody. And I say, uh, if I sent you a picture of some of some fabric, do you think you could replicate that for me and I'll just buy it from you? So she looked at it and said, yep, no problem. So Jody ordered me a piece of fabric that I'm going to send to my buddy Matt so that we can stitch it together. And our plan is to sell this thing. So if you want in on this, we are going to sell it the day after Christmas. <laughs> are you doing it? I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm so excited. She was like, I kind of want to do it. No, I don't want to do it. Maybe I'll do it. Oh, it came out with the pattern and I've been eyeing the pattern since they released it. And I was like, this pattern is gorgeous. And I thought the same thing. I'm like, I'm never going to fucking do this. Like this thing is huge. Yeah. Like I'm never going to do it. But if we're doing it together and we're doing it style style, there's a better chance of it happening. 100%. So we're going to be doing it. We're going to be starting it on December 26th, and I'll update you guys as it gets closer, but it's after the 12 days of stitching. Um, but we're going to call it the holiday hangover, Sal. So we're all going to be hungover from the holidays. Not literally, figuratively. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what your plan is for Christmas. Um, but we're going to call it the holiday. <laughs> I might be hungover. I don't need to be hungover for sure. I probably would be. Uh, she's probably going to come to my house on Christmas Day, and we're probably going to drink copiously that day. Um, anywho, so the holiday hangover, Sal. So if you want to join in, we're going to start that on December 26th. So you can have plenty of time to get your stuff ready. But um, it definitely calls for a green fabric. So just do whatever green you want. You can do light green, dark green, whatever you want the grass to look like is basically the whole gist of that. So um, I'm very excited for that. I have I told Matt that his fabric will be on the way as soon as Jody gets it. She just placed an order. So we'll definitely have it in time for the 26th. So I'm excited. I, we haven't done a sale with him. Um, we haven't done a sale with anyone really where we've actually coordinated it. So I'm very excited to do this. And he is so sweet. So I'm very excited to do this. But that's the only thing that I bought. Um, yeah, so let's talk plans. So what's everyone's plan for the next week? Jody, what do you got on the agenda? I'm close. I'm getting close. <laughs> look at her. Finish this guy. <gasps> oh, look how fast it goes. I'm telling you. Right. He is getting finished. I am starting my Keith Morrison pattern and I want to get my moon done. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff to do, but. You can do it. I can do it. You have a week. <laughs> Yeah, give a week. Um, Erica. I want to finish this bad boy. You'll have it done. So close. I'm so close. Um, and then I want to work on the Christmas parade pattern. And I want to start the, um, I don't have a picture of it, that don't get your tinsel in a tangle from the Frosted Pumpkin that has like a little sloth on it. <laughs> I was wearing like a Christmas hat. Wait, I'll try to find it. Hang on. Yeah, you. I, one. I almost bought that one. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Yeah, it's really cute. And I'm going to find, find a picture of it for you. Here it is. Here it is. Um, it's super cute. I'm using some of the, um, like, the sparkly floss. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, I don't know if you can see it very well, but here it is. Oh my god, look at him. Look at his old face. <laughs> He's wearing a little hat. It's super cute. I have it all kitted up and I think I'm gonna do it on what did I decide? Oh, I was trying to decide and I'm going to do it on this fabric, which is like it's called 
twilight blue, but I think it really looks gray. I got it from the Crafty U when we went to that Stitch Day, Kristen, and they had their little, like, yeah, pop-up yeah. shop. But yeah. it's, like, this gray fabric. I think it's going to look cool, and it's going to pop. And I'm using some sparkly floss, and I'm excited. So those are my plans for this next week. Yay! Those are good plans. Mm -hmm. I would like to see that sloth come together. <laughs> Aaron, what is on your 12 days of stitching agenda? Yeah, I was just trying to do the math at how many I should show. So I'll be doing the Nordic, and then I'll be doing Satsuma Cat. Oh, I oh, love, yeah. love it. Mm -hmm. And then my Christmas gnome from my studio create. You so guys, she came out with a Hanukkah gnome. And he is so freaking cute. It's perfect. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. It was very like one. Did you guys see the New Year's one? Oh yeah. Oh, Does it have like the champagne and stuff? That was so cute. I like how it has like the on the hat. It's like a clock. Yeah, like and then the fireworks. So cute. And then, oh, I don't have a picture of it. Oh, the ornaments. Those little ornaments that I got. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attempt. That's it. Very nice. Oh, I actually have a question. Can I insert that question here? Yes. Um, so my child has one main kindergarten teacher and then like a student teacher. And I was trying to decide if I should make them some kind of like small stitched ornament. When he had pre three preschool teachers, I made like this size hoop ornaments for them. And I was thinking of doing something similarly sized for these teachers. Do you think that's a good kindergarten teacher gift yeah because you know how many um coffee mugs and crap that they probably get every year right so right. That's something thinking. they can hang on their tree which is really cute yeah. and like a starbucks gift card they want to yeah <laughs> right we we have that uh drive through coffee place right like right in town so i was thinking of yeah. doing that and then the ornament i don't know if i'll finish it in a hoop or if i fi will finish it as like a little like pillowy style one or something of that nature but okay i'll do that do you think you would do the, i would do the hoop, hoop ornament you think i so? would think it's an ornament yeah okay yeah cool mm -hmm. i can do that i think i'll just choose like something very tiny and like stitch it on there and be done that'll be adorbs um, yay thanks mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i got a whole book if you want to look through it of tiny Thank you. I'm thinking I to do something very small. <laughs> right. One, right. one person chief. Like, like a page. <sighs> 10 by 10. <sighs> yes, something very small. A snowflake. <laughs> <laughs> you have busted through that Christmas, though. I think you, you've got this. You know what? I never thought the deck the halls pattern has, you know, like a little stocking, a little Christmas tree, a little snowman. Oh. Like pulling those elements out and stitching them as ornaments would be. Because that little gingerbread man is the cutest. That's so let me. Great idea. So the, and they're not that big. So that's such a good idea. I mean, look how little that stocking is. You could stitch that up in no time. Look at that little snowman. That's the kind so of thing cute. I thought could go on here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That guy in there. And then there's um, like yeah. this cute little Christmas tree. He's like tilted to the side. Me. <laughs> and like That's this little, a great idea, Chris. This little present. So, yeah, that would be, that would be cute. If it wasn't so going to take me, you know, in like a lot of pain to finish stitching this. I would definitely pull those out and put them on ornaments. So that's an idea. Um, so just even if the frosted pumpkin, there's something cute on yeah, there. They have this uh, winter sampler, which is uh, like a bunch of tiny little things. So look at the pickle. Oh, this <laughs> snowman. <laughs> I want the Christmas that pickle. Is so Pittsburgh. You should do that. So yeah. we did. We did the pickle every year on the Christmas tree at my grandma's house. You hide right. the Christmas pickle. Mm -hmm. And then you have to find the pickle. Whoever finds pickle gets an extra special gift. And it was yeah. hard because the pickle blends into the tree. 
I never found the pickle. Not ever. A real pickle? I have never. It's a pickle ornament. Like a glass pickle. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. Uh -huh. Yeah. I Michael I about it, and he was like, yeah, it wasn't a thing in my house, but like, it's a thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think that's just a Western Pennsylvania thing, but ooh, I love the pickle. Well, obviously not. I mean, they're from California, and they know what the Christmas pickle is, but. Yeah, we were in Michigan doing the Christmas pickle, so. Oh. The Christmas doing the Christmas pickle is a phrase that I think is concerning and possibly <laughs> <laughs> like don't ever say that again. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna get like censored on YouTube. Uh -oh. <laughs> Erica! Erica! I'm sorry. If y'all never see us again, you know why. <laughs> so sorry. I don't want Erica. <laughs> and it was Erica of all people. I know, right? <laughs> Good thing we mark this as it's not for kids. Um, so my plans for this week, uh, I have to put my I'll be home for Christmas away tonight and I'm so sad, but tomorrow I'm starting deck the halls and I'm going to bust this baby out. So just for reference, all I have left is the gingerbread man and then the word gingerbread. Look how cute that gingerbread. And gingerbread, if I remember correctly, is like a half and half, right? I remember it not taking long. No, that's, that's not going to take long at all. And then there's like three snowflakes and a candy cane. So it oh. shouldn't take me long at all. So I have no excuse. Um, but if I get done early, if I can bust this out tomorrow, which there's a good chance because I'm going to avoid school again tomorrow, I can go back to working on my I'll be home. So I can put some more into that. So that's my motivation is how I'm thinking because I allocated two days. I may not need two days. Um, then the only other thing... Oh, I'll be working on winter white Santa, which is the Mirabilia Santa. He's downstairs because he comes with his own box and I forgot to bring him up. Um, and then the other one is a new start, which I'm going to start on Saturday. And about I'm very excited about this one. Oh, yeah. So cute. And again, I'm doing that on uh, this 40 count Lotus fabric, which is purple. Oh, I love it. So I'm very excited about this one. Very excited. Um, and that's that's pretty much all I have then for, for plans. Um, I have an ornament to finish up for Erin to go on her tree. I have some ornaments for myself that I need to finish. And I have my 12 by 16 pillows that I'm going to get finished and then do some pillow deliveries hopefully on Sunday so that everybody can get their Christmas pillows. So Erin and Erica will have a pillow coming to them. Thank you. Pillows coming to her, and then I don't have to make any more pillows for the rest of the season. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, let's talk promos real quick before we end tonight. Um, so again, Erica has her promo code through the Frosted Pumpkin. Everything is linked down below, so I really don't need to go over this in too much detail, um, but that's for the Christmas wreath sale. Um, Aaron and I also have our discount codes for Sally from the Caterpillar Cross Stitch. That is for the made to create sale that starts in January. Um, and that is good for the full kit or for the PDF downloads. Um, then we also have our Black Needle Society. So you, it's 5% off the first box in your subscription when you sign up. And then Aaron, did you clarify about the specialty boxes or can you clarify? So you don't get a discount for any specialty boxes. And then somebody had asked me if um, if you forever get priority for specialty boxes. But my understanding is that as long as you are a subscriber, you have priority. Now, priority does not necessarily mean you will get a box because if it's too many people get it. Like, I have a feeling next year, I don't know how they're going to do the 24, the nice list. Because mm. there's going to be a lot of people wanting that. Um, but we'll see how that plays out. So, but I would recommend if you really want one, getting the subscription because at least you're in there. Yeah. And then you get notified first because like Aaron said, I, I would doubt that even the people who get priority that everybody that wants one gets one. So it right. may not make it to the general public in order to buy the box. So I would say it was only oh. like a hundred. Wasn't it? Or 75? It was a very small number. 150? I don't know what it was, but it was not like a big number. 
which, you know, I'm, I'm fine with the exclusivity of keeping the boxes small because they can put more quality products in it um, mm -hmm. versus opening it up to, you know, 500 boxes. The same criticism happened to the Witchy Stitcher on her last box release. Mm -hmm. People were complaining that she doesn't do enough. But when you're hand making things and shipping them, it, there's a lot of time we know just for making one box. I can't imagine making two, 300 boxes. So it's just a lot of time. But um, if you're lucky enough to get one, you know, congrats. <laughs> so they, they did a 12 days of a, a 12 day too, right? Yes. And that starts on if you have that box and you're confused, your 12 day actually starts on day 12. It doesn't start mm -hmm. on day one and go 12 days. Right. It starts on day 12 to lead you to Christmas. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then um, our six, oh sorry go ahead oh I just wanted to make a note about the frosted pumpkin code I believe that's good for any purchase over $20 on their site so it doesn't necessarily have to be for the Christmas wreath stuff good to know mm -hmm. so we have a lot of stuff going on um, but again if you use those codes you know great you save a little bit of money and um, let us know. And uh, we look forward to seeing you all next week for our regularly scheduled video. We hope that you're enjoying your Christmas stitching or holiday stitching if you are choosing to do that. Or if you're like Jody and you just don't give a crap and you're not stitching Christmas. So, <laughs> <laughs> she's good. like, mm, no thanks. <laughs> Jody goes to the beat of her holiday stitching. Okay. Jody would not join in. I'm surprised she's joining in on the sale with Matt and I at the end of the month because it's very unlike her to go with the crowd on things. So I can't, I can't pass up that pattern. It's so good. I know. And it's going to be great. So as always, thank you for your comments, your likes. If you have any questions, leave them below for us and we will respond um, and then follow us on Instagram and Facebook. But we will see you all next week. Stay safe. Stay home. Take care of yourselves and we love you all very much. Bye.